Hey, hey, fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me. Tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is, so let's just go ahead and tap in with Spirit. Get this TP out real quick. See what's really going on in this general collective energy. But no matter what comes out, fam, please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Also, the messages are always timeless. So whenever you do come across this message, fam, that's exactly when Spirit has it for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. To all the subscribers and members of the channel, I thank y'all so, so much for rocking and rolling with me. I greatly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Even if you're not subscribed or a member, fam, I thank you so, so much for just coming and viewing the message. Spending some of your time with me. I greatly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Hope y'all are doing well wherever y'all are in this crazy, crazy ass world, fam. But let's go ahead and get into this message. Mm, my urge. But y'all know, personal readings as well as memberships are open. If you are interested, all of that information can and will be found in the description box of the, of the channel. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Holy Spirit, what's the message for my fam today? What's the message for my fam today, Holy Spirit? I heard the name either Kalisha or Kalisa. Somebody also should go get a pedicure because they got callus or something on their foot. Yeah. I mean, I've never had one, but I could just imagine it. It looked like it hurt. But let's get into this message. Holy Spirit, what's the message for my fam today? What's the message for my fam today, Holy Spirit? What's the message for my fam today, Holy Spirit? Okay. Yeah, we got fake apology right here. <laughs> and we have depression. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. What's the... Okay. Yeah, we got divorce. Breaking contract. Holy Spirit. I can tell y'all right now, it's somebody right here that thought that they was going to go out and do something and then come back in and smooth things over with you. This person in their feelings because you standing, you standing your ground. Yeah, you standing on what you say, even though it may hurt. I feel like a lot of y'all are no longer giving in to this energy, whomever this person is. Yeah, we got check yourself. And we got investigating. Some of y'all, seriously, these people that y'all are dealing with, they are definitely dealing with other people. So it's best if you go get yourself checked out like real shit. Not saying that you have anything or anything like that, but you know, better safe than sorry. Yeah, we got emotional intelligence right here. Y'all already know that this person right here, they can't, they can't be faithful. Somebody here cannot be faithful, but they're expecting you to take them just as they are and things like that. Yeah, we got setting the record straight. Somebody want to come through and talk to you, but I feel like they got excuses. Yeah, they know they fucked up, knowing they fucked up. That's where that fake apology come in. And somebody here, they going to come and try to smooth things over with you, give you a little bit of the story, but not the whole thing. And I guess this has worked for them in the past, but the fact that you're not taking it back, yeah, taking them back, this person falling apart. They all in their emotions right here. That mask is cracking, falling off, and everything. I want to show y'all something. You see how this card right here says fake apology, and y'all see that mask he wearing? Now look at that same mask. Yeah, somebody right here, they got abandonment issues. They got childhood wounds that they haven't uh, healed from. I feel like this person ain't even tried to heal from them, though. They just go through life trying to play on the top of other people. Yeah, but it's like now you're not going for whatever this is. Even if this person comes to you with some type of sob story, I really don't feel like you're going for it. Yeah. I just heard somebody feel like a dunce now, y'all. <laughs> somebody feel like a dunce. Yeah, somebody feel real stupid for trying to play you. Our spirit just said you have all the facts. Yeah, we got fake friends right here. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Yeah, and we got envy. Oh, my goodness. Y'all got a lot going on in y'all energy here. 
Because there's also some fake friends around you that's env that's envying you. So, yeah, it's somebody coming through. And it's like they're trying to be like your shoulder to cry on. It really feels like this person or whomever these people are, they're happy to see you going through whatever the hell it is that you're going through. And that's some straight BS. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, don't want to hear it. Exactly. Whomever, somebody right here, they act like they for you and they really not. Nah. Expect and we got copycat. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Some of y'all friends, quote unquote, just ain't right. This is craziness. This could even be like this person. You could have thought that y'all had like this really good bond or something like that. And whatever the hell it is that they did, it's like unbelievable her. Mm. Yeah, we get the eight of ones to the four of ones. Somebody's trying to contact you. If you have this person blocked and you're just like not answering their phone calls or text messages or something, they're about to show up at your home. They finna show up at your door. Some of them might have gifts or flowers or something in hand. You know, heavy Sagittarius energy. But let's get into this. Holy Spirit, what is this fake apology? What is the fake apology? The nine of cups right here. Somebody finna try to come through and play on your top, pull at your heart. This person gonna tell you everything that they think you want to hear. Only to get back in your good graces here. Yeah, we got the three of cups right here to the strength card. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. It's like a bond is supposed to be deeper or stronger than something right here. Holy Spirit. Yeah, Spirit is saying, cleanse these fake friends out of your energy. Because it's they giving me real bad vibes. Whomever these fake friends are, they're the ones trying to send these monitoring spirits to you. Especially if you had like some type of insect infestation or something like that. That's these fake ass friends. Yeah, they could be into spirituality as well. But I feel like they, they use their gifts for like, you know evil holy spirit yeah we got the two of wands right here whomever this person is your wish fulfillment to them and they're gonna choose you over anybody else but i also feel like that's because some of y'all kept putting up with this person's bullshit so it's like this person right here they knew that they could come and go as they please but now it's like no more standing on business this person is trying to they're going to have to figure out another way to get back in. Yeah, because this cycle right here is closing. Somebody don't believe you, though. With that uh, fake apology, this person don't believe that you're actually done with them. Somebody feels like you're just still upset with them right now. Yeah, this player energy. I'm not taking all them cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this get the energy of somebody continuously having a wandering eye. Yeah, we get the Eight of Cups. It comes up in the reverse. That's what I'm telling you. You might be telling somebody that the cycle is closed here and you're gone or something like that. Whomever this person is, they don't believe you. Because I haven't heard it all before. This person could have Aries in their chart because it's giving ego. Whomever this person is, they like, uh, fam ain't going to walk away from me. Somebody feels like you're afraid to go out there and live your life without them. So, yeah, this person is feeling like really entitled to you. Holy Spirit, one more. Yeah, we got the moon card right here. Whomever this person is, I'm telling you, they're coming back in, but they're not going to tell you the full truth if they tell you the truth at all, because I'm hearing make-believe. So somebody could just make up a story and tell you something because they feel like that's what you want to hear. They're not telling you the truth. This person is still hiding something. You know what, fam? I also feel like this person right here, I don't know why, but it's giving like this person feels like you have confidence issues. Yeah. And it's like, damn, if you are insecure about something, it's only because of the way that this person acted during y'all's time together. You know what I'm talking about? Holy Spirit, what is depression? Thank you. Yeah, we got the three of cups right here. And then we got the queen of pentacles. See, this is this the bullshit I be talking about right here. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. So whomever this fake friend is, fam, they have something to do with whatever is going on with you and this person. They have more, they have more involvement than y'all know. That's why fake friends is out here. Also, y'all got friends around y'all that are only there because of what you can offer to them. I see 1010. Some of y'all could be seeing 1010. The 18th is very significant as well. See, also, this person over here, they they want to be with you because you are in, like, the Queen of Pentacles in energy. You're very grounded. You're very stable. I don't feel like you're the type to be outside all the time. But the weird part about that is that's the type of uh, energy that they like being around. It's like somebody want to cuff you because you like more like a homebody, but they want to be able to run around and deal with these uh, hookers. I said it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, the five of pentacles right here. These, this person, fam, you know what? If you in your feelings about this situation, I'm going to need you to get out your feelings right now. I just saw one, uh, 1101, so some of y'all could even be seeing 111. This person right here, they deal with people that ain't even on your level, bruh. Yeah, these people that they deal with ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. They only, they only for a good time. They cannot offer this person anything. So that's why this person keep running back to you. You the best option. But fam, the thing is, you have to realize you ain't nobody's goddamn option. You are a, you the, you the choice. So if this person can't make up their mind shit, let them move on around. I feel like that's what you're doing anyway. But they finna try to make that way back in. And it's the truth. The Ace of Swords right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of y'all got friends around y'all. I'm, I'm quote unquote that friend shit. Because whomever these people are, I feel like they don't have any drive, any determination. Your energy and these people's energy, I don't see how y'all coexisting together because it doesn't mesh. You got you who's a homebody, go to work, take care of your responsibilities. And then you got these other people out here who are all about having a good time, drinking, getting high, going out, things like this. They sit on their ass all day. So, yeah, these friends, they are, they very envious of you. But it's, it's ridiculous because we all got the 20, same 24 and they could do the same thing you do, but they choose not to. They choose a certain lifestyle, and you don't. Yeah, we got the Ten of Swords right here. Some of y'all, I'm not going to lie, when y'all actually get the whole story, the truth, and nothing but the truth, it's going to hurt like hell. But this is also going to cause you to uh, finally end this cycle once and for all. No second guessing, no answering the phone, no turning back. That could be in the, the energy that some of y'all are in now, because I told y'all somebody wants to show up at your door. There's also some friends out here. I don't know what's going on. I can't keep counting these people friends in, 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 in good conscience. It's some people out here. And you got a you got a person that's around you that you possibly used to call your friend. This person knows something. They know the truth. And it's like this person want to come and tell you only to like add fuel to the fire. They already know what it is that you're going through. But they want to come and add fuel to the fire. Yeah. I tell you, it's Aries energy here. One more. Damn, you can't make this up. The emperor. Also, whomever this person is over here, they got some friends that ain't really for them as well because they know that you're the, the best for them, but they still um uh, like um uh, it's like they either bring people around this person or take people around this, take this person around this these other people. And they know that y'all are supposed to be in some type of relationship or whatever. So it's like they got friends encouraging them to kind of like cheat on you or talk to other people or something like that. And that's a whole bunch of bullshit. Holy Spirit, what's the worst? Yeah, we got the two of swords right here. This is what the energy that somebody is hoping that you in. I keep telling you somebody don't believe you. When you say it's over, they don't believe you. It's because it's like y'all been through this before and you've allowed this person to come back or you talk to this person or whatever. So yeah, they don't believe you. They just feel like you're upset right now. I'm telling you. That's too many. I saw the queen of wands. 
Holy Spirit, what's depression? Thank you. And it comes out, the Queen of Wands right here. Yeah, some of y'all could not be feeling like y'all selves as well. I feel like there's a lot of people pulling at your energy. Yeah, we got the Queen of Cups right here to the page of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this is something that somebody has gotten used to doing. They go out there, they do whatever they want to do. And, you know, they might get caught, they might not. But either way it go, I feel like it puts you in your feelings. And then they come back, they do this fake apology shit, give you what you, what they feel you want, say what they think you want to hear, settle down for a little bit, and then they go right back to doing the same shit. Holy Spirit. Yeah, Taurus energy right here. Some of y'all could be married to this person, even y'all were engaged or something like that. Or this just could have been like a long-term, like, Commitment or whatever you want to call it. Somebody likes you because you have traditional values and all this other kind of stuff. You're not, I'm telling you, you're not promiscuous. You're not always, I don't feel like some of y'all even drink. You don't drink. Some of y'all don't smoke. You are what people would call square, which is ridiculous. Yeah, somebody thinks that you're square or something like that. Yeah, Sagittarius energy right here. So it's like somebody keeps their options open, but won't want to close you off to the rest of the world. Yeah, we get the eight of wands right here. Somebody is going to come in and ask y'all to marry them. Marry them. Can we like settle down, move in together, things like this. They want to make something official. But fam, I'm telling you, I don't get any type of committal energy coming from this person. The two of swords is right above the hermit. I'm sorry, the higher offense. So somebody could be a, a Virgo. Mm. Somebody is doing this all because it's like they see you looking in another direction. You're standing on business. They, they feel like you're going to open yourself up to, you know, different people and things like that. So I'm telling you, that's why this person is coming in to ask you to marry them or whatever this is. I don't feel like it's real. Exactly. Five of Swords. They just don't want anybody else to have you. Yeah, can't make it up. The Page of Pentacles. Somebody's going to come through and ask y'all to marry them. But I mean, fam, you have to use your discernment because, again, Five of Swords is right here. They Somebody don't want to see you be single because they know that your ass is one hell of a catch. Yeah, somebody is not stupid. The Queen of, I mean, the King of uh, Cups is here. This person have a lot of sense. So they know what the fuck it is they be doing. They do. That, But I'm saying this is exactly why somebody don't want you to be single because they don't want you to go out and explore your options. Somebody know that somebody going to snatch your ass right up. And they don't want that. They want to be your end all be all, but they want to have all this other shit in the, in, the, in the mix as well. Some of y'all, these people see you doing very well for yourself and they just want to ride your coattail like real stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. Holy Spirit. Let's get yourself checked. Let's check yourself. Yeah, the wheel of fortune. I feel like everything is good, but spirit just wants you to, you know, it's like preventive pre uh, preventative medicine here. But I feel like everything is good. Nothing's going on with your with your health. It's just spirit wants you to get a checkup here. Yeah, Ace of Cups right here. Some of y'all might even find out that you're pregnant. Yeah, we get the Three of Pentacles. There's somebody here that wants to contact y'all, fam, for one reason or another. I told you, it's a, somebody here that's quote-unquote your friend. They have knowledge of something that's going on. So they want to come through and tell y'all, oh, it's going to get deep. Some of y'all, it's like you're cool. You have somebody and you're cool with somebody that they're friends with. Yes, yeah, like, hey, bro, hey, sis, or, you know, whatever the case may be. This person over here, they, the friend, they know what this person has been doing. Yeah. But the thing is, I feel like they've been, like, coercing this person to do it. So that's possibly why the fake friends is out here, because somebody out here, well, I'll be damned. This friend that wants to come in and say something to you, fam, 
they know what this person has been doing because like I told y'all, they've been coercing them. But the five of swords, they were doing this shit on purpose. Somebody knows that you deserve better than whomever this is over here. So they're trying to ruin this connection on purpose in order to get you to move away once and for all. Yeah, somebody knows that you deserve somebody way better than them. Hmm. Yeah, somebody actually got receipts. And I feel like they somebody's been holding on to this. Okay, the deck is in the reverse. I was going to say, why is temperance in the reverse? Yeah, somebody's been holding on to this until the right time. And then it's like whatever this person did and the feelings that they have you in... It's like now they figure it's the right time because no, you got to move away from this situation. I feel like this situation is starting to mess with your energy. Keep seeing Sagittarius to the three of uh, Pentacles. Your spirit team is out here as well. They're trying to give you downloads about this situation. Yeah, you have a true emperor that wants to come in towards you, but you can't, uh, uh, this person can't come towards you and you can't receive them until you completely clear out this other person from your energy. Yeah. Because it's like you've been going back and forth with this person for way too long. Only to keep being put in the same situation. Yeah, we got the king of pentacles right here. Somebody could also be breaking a lease. I don't know if this is on a home or a car, but somebody's breaking a lease. Also, I'm telling you, you have one, two. Some of y'all could be bisexual. If not, it's a female out here that's very much so attracted to you. Hmm. Somebody here, this friend, this fake friend of this person up here, they want to be with you. They feel like they have more to offer you than whomever this is. Because who, this person is a page of pentacles. This other one is a king of pentacles. So some of y'all got friends in the same category. You see what I'm talking about? You could have picked the broke friend. Of course, I don't think you knew the friend was the broke friend when you met him. You're right. Yeah, but some of y'all picked the broke friend. And that's why they like these broke ass karmics. They all in the same energy. You're you man, you so you so oh lord. <laughs> yeah, this person over here is not on your level at all, and neither are these fake ass friends. Even if this friend or this friend want to be with you, that's crazy because it's like, damn, <laughs> they didn't have to go about it like this. They didn't have to coerce this person into putting you into third parties just to ruin a connection because they feel like you're too good for somebody. Hell, they could have just came and told you that what somebody was doing. And you could have handled that yourself. So it feel like the person that even want to come in towards you, they're responsible for your, you know, your heartbreak as well. Yeah, we get the Knight of Pentacles right here to the Two of Pentacles. Somebody, this, they, they always cheating. It's always somebody else in the mix. It's never just you and them. Yeah. That's crazy. I told y'all somebody been waiting on the right time to shoot they shot and here they come. It's going to cause a big issue between them and this other person that want to be with you. But oh well, that's a them problem, not, not a you. Mm -hmm. Somebody is also finna help y'all out financially. I don't know if you're going through like a rough time financially here, fam. But there is somebody here that's about to uh, help you out. I don't know if this comes in the form of like some type of donation or advice or what this is. But if there is somebody here that's really good with finances and they're going to come through and help you out. Holy Spirit, one more. Yeah, we get the page of cups right here. Somebody could be younger than y'all as well. This person up here with this fake ass apology, I'm trying to tell you, bro. They, yeah. Mm -hmm. They really be, I don't know why this person think you stupid. That's the best way that I can put it. They could be younger than you. You could be younger than them. But somebody right here, they feel like you stupid. 
Like you don't know exactly what the hell is going on or something like that. Also, somebody wants you to not believe another person when they come towards you and give you this uh this information. So it's kind of like a who you going to believe, me or them type energy. Yeah, somebody's very immature. Even if this person up here can, you know, offer you more, I still feel like they're as immature as this other person over here. So yeah, don't even waste your time. Scorpio energy. Mm. Holy Spirit. What's falling into pieces? What's falling into pieces? Yeah, somebody is so used to you taking them back, taking them back, taking them back. It's crazy. Also, some of y'all might be filling out applications for jobs. You, you're going to hear back from this person. You're also going to get an offer for a job. Yeah, the nine of cups right here. Yeah, to the temperance. This is something that you've been waiting on. You're about to get this offer. Some of y'all might have to relocate or travel or there's one hell of a commute. Holy Spirit. What's falling into pieces? What's falling into pieces, Holy Spirit? The devil, Capricorn energy. Whomever this toxic ass person is that goes around building these soul ties, somebody sleeps around with a lot of people. Somebody could be addicted to sex or addicted to just having third parties. I see somebody addicted to watching porn as well. Yeah, fam, I just feel like you put up with a lot from this person that you normally wouldn't put up with from anybody else for one reason or another. Yeah, somebody is codependent on you bad. Mm. But it's weird <laughs> because whomever this person is, it's like they want to be with you, but I'm also sensing a little bit of jealousy from them. So that's why this person want to like tie you down for one reason or another. Yeah, high priestess. They damn, they trying to put you in a third party situation. They want to come back towards you, but I feel like this person still hasn't released their old ways. They're still in the same energy. Yeah, falling to pieces. Whomever they are, they, they not in a good space, but you can't just treat people any type of way and expect most high to continue to bless you. Somebody could be very hairy. Somebody's name could be Harry. Somebody could be eating grapes as they watch me or something here's about avocados as well. Yeah, we get the strength card coming up in the reverse. To the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. Whomever this person is right here, I feel like they're very, when it comes to protecting their energy, they're very weak. So it's easy for people to attack this person and attach energy to them. Somebody got some type of demon attached to them. And it's like, I feel like they're not even trying to fight it. As long as this person stays in this energy, fam, yeah, Aquarius energy at the bottom of the deck to the seven of swords. Also, don't trust this person if they come through and they tell you that they've gone through some type of spiritual transformation or something like that. Because I'm telling you, everybody know you're spiritual. So this person about to pull every trick out the bag in order to get you to forgive them. This offer that they're coming through and giving you, it's, I feel like they're offering this to you. But I feel like whatever it is, it's never going to come to fruition. So this is like an empty promise. Yeah, five of pentacles right here. It's like somebody feel you healing from them or whatever this is, and they can't have it because in one way or another, you are this person's security blanket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I told you, some of y'all are the king of pentacles. Do you are this person's security blanket? This person, seriously, and I ain't even trying to talk about nobody because we've all been there at one point in time. Just like this Three of Cups energy, these fake friends, these karmics that they like to deal with, they ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, but you make this person look good. So it's like the way, I don't know if it's your energy or if you're giving this person money, buying them clothes or whatever the hell it is you're doing, footing the bill for something or another. It's making this person more attractive to these uh 
these club rats. So it's like without you, this person look like the bomb that they are. So that's another reason why they'll try to stay attached to you. 30 minutes straight up. The Knight of Wands right here to the Tower. To the Seven of Cups. To the Four of Swords, Jesus. Somebody also need a, uh, somewhere to lay their head. Somebody ain't got nothing that they can call their own. So that's why they try to hold on to you so bad. That's why they're so possessive of you. They don't have shit without you. Yeah, we got the two of pentacles coming in the crossing. And we got the eight of pentacles. I mean, the eight of wands with the ten of wands. <laughs> somebody feels like it's going to be really hard this time to talk their way back in. Like somebody, they, I'm surprised we ain't got the magician. Because it's like they're able to talk their way out of situations with you. And this time, I just don't feel like it's working. It's like somebody, I ain't going to lie to you, they feel like it's, it's like, I don't know if you answer the phone or you text them back or whatever it is. So they feel like, okay, I'm, I'm getting a foot in, but then I don't know if it's something that you say. It's like, it's giving this person pretty much a reality check. Yeah. Cause it's really feeling like somebody deal with you when they want to. That's craziness. Somebody will try to be stand-up. I don't feel like it'll last no time. And you, they'll put you back in this energy again. Holy Spirit. One more. Holy Jesus. There's that damn magician. Yeah. Them word, Yeah, high priestess right here. Somebody is really trying to pull on your energy and they can't anymore. Yeah, it's like your energy is blocked out to this person. There's the hermit as well. Virgo, Aquarius energy. Yeah, this person is getting really irritated because their, their little tactics aren't working. I'm telling you, so this could be the person that's just going to show up at your door. Oh, you don't want to talk to me on the phone. So somebody feels like they're going to get different results if they're in your face as opposed to on the phone or something like that. Also, I know damn well somebody is not going to ask y'all to marry them through text message. That should let you know how not serious this person is about this. Somebody plans on asking you to marry them through a fucking text message. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, we got the five of pentacles right here. The magic ain't magic in no more. The words ain't, ain't, ain't getting the same results. And this person feels left out in the cold. They're having money troubles. I'm telling you, without you, this person has nothing. Nothing. Holy Spirit, what's this fake friends? Thank you. The emperor comes up in the damn reverse. <laughs> Somebody has, it's like, no stability. Like, come on, man. Hmm. This person hang around people that's just like them. I don't give a damn how much money they have. They all try to be, they, they come off as looking like the emperor, but once you get to know them, they not. <laughs> I just heard somebody talk a good game. Somebody be lying about what they've attained as well. They be lying about their success and things like this. Somebody is also trying to convince somebody that they have a business that they're trying to get off the ground. This person ain't trying to do nothing. They used to being in other people's pockets. I just heard this person is also taking credit for your work. So whatever it is that you've done, fam, this person takes credit for it. They try to pass it off as their own, whomever this fake friend is. Yeah, hermit right here. Virgo energy. Virgo Aquarius to the four of swords. Hmm. This is getting energy of somebody here neglecting their responsibilities, bro. Somebody right here could be very much so lazy. But they try to blame everybody around them for why they going through shit. They never take accountability here. Somebody right here, they're depressed now. They're in this depressive state. They're being really quiet. It's like seclusion here as well. 
So if this person right here used to go out a lot, they don't really go out no more. Spirit just said this person is upset with their friends because of the situation that y'all are in. The friends can, you know, they can lead this person to water, but they ain't the ones that's making them drink. You see what I'm saying? This person is mad at you. They're mad at the karmics. They're mad at the fake friends. And they're blaming everybody for their actions. That's crazy. I just heard self-destruction. You're headed for self-destruction. Fam, if you take this person back, boy, you just don't understand what you'll be doing to yourself. This, uh, this person right here, they don't have good energy attached to them. That's why I please be mindful of sleeping with this person. Because you will absorb this energy. Somebody right here, they like to have sex with y'all so they can transfer energy as well. So that, that's the magic. They try to do energy transfer. And now that you're not around or you're not, you're not allowing them to, you know, like uh, enjoy your temple that way. They sitting in this fart energy and it ain't nothing that they can do about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Yeah, we got the Ten of Wands right here to the lovers. <laughs> to the Ten of Cups. It, this is crazy as hell because I'm telling you, this person right here, this is how they look at you. Nine of cups to the to the lovers. You're everything this person could ever want. You're perfect. But they mindset. They need to change their mind. This person is young minded. It's like they got somebody at home that's really good to them. You know what I'm talking about? And everybody around them can see this or could see this. But it's like they still want to be for the streets. So yeah, this person right here, I feel like they just lost. Because I'm hearing they lost one. They lost the chosen one. The one that was chosen for them, which is you, they lost. And they really starting to feel the effects of this now. Because somebody is always thinking with their little head down there instead of the head up here. They always thinking they can fix something through sex or, you know, um, thank you, Holy Spirit, or, you know, talk their way out of things. Ain't nothing working. This person is it's like at a standstill. They don't know what else to do. They should have thought about this shit, though, before they did. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles right here. There's somebody who's also trying to get information on you. If you have children with this person, somebody is scared to as shit that you're going to put child support on them. Hell, they ain't got no money to pay it anyway. Somebody, this is craziness. Because somebody right here, they like, it's working. It's like a, it's too much. It's too much of a task. They don't want to do that. I'm telling y'all, somebody lazy as hell. So they try to, um, oh, excuse me. They try to attach themselves to people who, you know, are putting in the work or do get up and go to work or whatever this is. Somebody could also work construction. I heard Ava, Camille. Mm. Holy Spirit, what's envy? The wheel of fortune comes up in the reverse. Good karma is always on your side, so things are always turning in your favor. And these other people, not so much. Somebody right here needs some help with their rent. Some, oh my goodness, somebody slept with somebody in order to get some money to pay their rent, bro. So that could be some information that y'all about to receive. If it's like somebody, I don't, somebody got some money from you and gave it to somebody else. Or it's like somebody, I don't know if this is like odd jobs or something, but whatever it is, somebody right here, they paid somebody to have sex with them. And it's all, this is craziness. Somebody paid somebody. I'm damn sure hoping this ain't one of your fake ass friends that slept with your person for some money because they need to help with their rent. 
Because it's like nothing is going in these people's favor. That's that's why our spirit is telling you, fam. Look, somebody definitely... These fake ass... This deck is not in the reverse. Do y'all see this? It's not in the reverse. These fake ass friends, I'm telling you, they've been doing magic on you. Yeah, conflict magic and shit like that. None of this shit is working anymore. It's all going back on them. So that's another reason you got friends out here that's very envious of you. They gonna um, somebody is coming in to be your shoulder to cry on simply to cipher your energy. That's it. Yeah, the sun card is in the reverse. Ain't nothing positive about these people. So that's another reason spirit is like detached from this situation. Because the more you stay attached, the more it's dragging your energy down, fam. Mm -mm. I'm so it's like I'm telling you, somebody don't want you to hold them accountable. So if this person hasn't reached out to you, because it feels like they're trying to stay away from you because they don't want to argue, they don't want to fight. But it's like, damn, we wouldn't have to go through this if you quit doing dumb shit, right, fam? But yeah, somebody's definitely out here doing magic on you. Somebody is wishing ill on your finances. They want everything for you to go to shit. Some of y'all love the job that you do, and that's magic that they're throwing. It's like somebody wants you to be unmotivated or, you know, feeling exhausted or lazy or something like that to the point where you won't get up and go to work or do your job or whatever this is. But now it's going back on these people. Somebody won't be able to find a job. Yeah, they are under judgment. Fam, please don't accept this person or these people back into your life. Because all of these people are under judgment at this time. So if somebody moved away from you, these fake ass friends or whatever the fuck, let them go. This person up here, let them go. Whomever their friend is coming in trying to give you information, talking about, you know, I, I've always liked you or whatever the fuck. Tell them to get the hell on too. Because it's all, no, all of them are under judgment right here. Every last one of them. Y'all also got people that's teaming up with other people in order to throw magic at you all the damn time. But it's like you're the true alchemist, so you alchemize the energy and it balances out. That's This is what people don't understand about you. The more they throw negativity at you, the more you're going to succeed. Somebody is also trying to get you to argue with them or something like that. And you're just like dismissing that shit good. Because they only want your energy. Yeah, the Ace of Cups right here. They only want your energy. We got the Ace of Cups out here twice. This could even be a friend that's going to call you because they're going through something with somebody that they're dealing with. And this person wants you to be their shoulder to cry on. I wouldn't do it. Because they've been doing shit behind the scenes. It's like you have you gotta you gotta pay attention to how you feel when um you you around people and when you leave them. Cause some of y'all be feeling tired, depleted. You know, it's like um your brain it's like brain farts or something like that. Yeah, these people these people only come around to cipher your energy to get what you have to give them. That's it. Somebody is also doing magic on your love life here. Yeah, we get the seven of pentacles. This is energy harvesting. So these people, yeah, you got fake ass friends. They not really for you. They only come around because you have very abundant energy. You're very giving and things like this. People know that you're, you, you're reliable. They can count on you. But it's like, damn, these are the, you, they're for the people that's really for real snaking your ass out, fam. 4405. Yeah, the fool. Yeah, to the Ten of Cups. To the Sun card in the reverse. If you accept this person's offer, fam, I just really feel like you'll be making a bad decision. Because I, I don't really feel like the happiness is going to last long. I told y'all that. This person right here, they'll settle down. It, you, they'll give you one or two good months or, you know, weeks, 44, 33. And then they'll go back to doing the same shit that they were doing. Yeah, 
You text them, it's taking them four, five hours to text your ass back. It's putting you in your head and all this other kind of stuff. That's what you don't need in your life. You know what I'm talking about? You do not need that shit in your life, for real. Somebody feel like because y'all been dealing with each other for a long time, family, friend, lover, whatever this is, that you know you'll always be there for them when they need you or you'll let them come back in or whatever the hell it is. Nah. It's, it's, you know, we all got a fucking breaking point. And I just really feel like this is spirit's way of telling you to, to really distance yourself from this situation. Because people feel like you, you, you're, you're a fool, you're naive, you're stupid, things like that. It's somebody also heard they harvest your energy and they take it back to another person. You see what I'm talking about? So it's like, damn. People using your energy to heal themselves from like uh, physical ailments and things like this. So that's why some of y'all could be going to the doctor and you got all these idiots. And the doctor is like, I don't, I can't find nothing. There is nothing there to find. These people are doing energy transfers. Mm -mm -mm. Holy Spirit, I don't want to hear it. Yeah. See, the Knight of Pentacles right here to the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups keeps coming out. Yeah, Spirit is telling you seriously, if this person texts you or something, just don't answer the phone. Don't accept the offer. Because somebody, whomever this is, they routinely put you in third-party situations all the time. It's very strategic energy, very methodical. Somebody is not stupid, fam. By a long shot. But they think that you are. So this is somebody I heard. These people think they're smarter than you. Because they think I heard they think you're gullible. Because you're so giving. Also it's weird as fuck. Because it's like. I can't really say secret parties. Or whatever. But it's like these people try to purposely make you feel left out. Somebody, while you at home sleeping, this person up here, they out there doing all kind of stuff. I ain't even got time to get into everything that they've been doing, but they've been doing a lot. But then they still expect you to accept them just as they are. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Somebody feel like you judging them when you, you know, you bring up the things that they've done and how they've made you feel for Sam. 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 That's a that's a form of gaslighting, like for real. That's gaslighting. Somebody has gotten used to gaslighting the shit out of you. They do it to everybody. You, they family, their friends. They gaslight everybody that come into you know contact with them. So this person want to make you feel bad about telling them how bad they made you feel. What? Man, it's crazy. Yeah. Somebody here, this is weird because they'll ask you to marry them, but they I'm telling you, being single, they feel like they losing their freedom right here with the full card. It's like they regret it. They'll regret marrying you or whatever this is because it's like something is a solid commitment. And you look at that. The night of, somebody want to be able to have you at home, barefoot, pregnant, whatever the hell, but still be able to run around and do them. That's craziness. Yeah, the star card is here. To the six of cups. So some of y'all can have children with this person and that's what they think is always going to get them back in. The fact that y'all have children. Somebody here could also be hiding a pregnancy. So somebody here could have dibbled and dabbled with one of your friends and there's a possible pregnancy here that they're trying to hide from you. This could be another, that could be another truth that this friend wants to come in and tell you that your person is possibly the father of their child. Somebody sees that you're serious about getting over them, healing from them, things like that. And they want to drag you backwards, fam. Don't, please don't let it happen. Yeah, exactly. The seven of wands right here. And 
And never feel bad for doing what's best for you and your children. Because I'm telling you right now, now I ain't for, you know, somebody keeping pe uh, kids away from their, their father or whatever the hell this is. But if the, the, if the emperor, this emperor is in the reverse. This person ain't got nothing to offer you or your children at this time. That's weird because they'll be, they'll be the first ones to holler that you're trying to keep their kids from them and shit like that. But they ain't even handling their responsibilities as a father. You see what I'm talking about? Somebody wants to blame you for everything. Somebody could also be saying that you're boring or something like that. You're boring. You don't want to do nothing. That's why I went out and did such and such. No. They went out and did that shit because that's just who they are. It has nothing to do with you at all. It's like somebody don't even want to fight for the relationship. Until they know that your ass is getting up out of there. Freeing yourself from it. Opening up to new people. Things like that. This person is giving very insecure energy. Because it's like they don't even want you talking to nobody else. Your co-workers or nothing. They don't want you talking to them. Because what? They know that you can meet somebody better than them and leave their ass at any given moment. This is gaslighting, bro. Yeah, the nine of wands right here. This person, oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah, to the seven of cups. Somebody could have some type of sexually transmitted disease because they're always running around dibbling and dabbling with other people. Somebody is also doing some type of magic to make you second guess yourself, fam. That's what I'm saying, bro. Somebody tried something on this uh this last full moon that we had, and they really should have set their ass down somewhere because they're finna start losing a lot of shit. See what I'm saying? So whomever this person is that you were dealing with romantically, they could have been in cahoots with these people doing magic on you to keep you confused, to keep you, you know, leaving the door open and the light on or whatever the fuck. That's why these people are going through this. They did something on this last full moon right here. Yeah, that was a bad investment on that end, for real. Yeah, we had the emperor upright right here and then in the reverse. Y'all called y'all energy back in. You called your power back. You took your power back or you're taking your power back. That's another reason why somebody is feeling so um tired and shit right now they don't have your energy to live off of anymore this is crazy somebody is getting fired from their job so it's like i don't know if you were having a hard time finding work or something like that or it's like your projects, you know, you were having a hard time getting them off the ground. It's because these people right here were using your energy to uh, do something. But now it's like they're being depleted all across the board. Somebody here also, they've been trying to cipher energy from your children. So it came up months ago. Watch who you have watching your children. Because these people that you trusted to watch your children, they're energy vampires. And they've been trying to harvest the energy of your children as well. They can't get to you, so they'll try to harvest the energy of your children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's allergies are really, really bothering them or something like that. This is all this there. Thank you. Yeah, we got Libra energy right here. Somebody is not able to come towards you anymore. Yeah, things are balancing out. Yeah, the six and four. These people have no choice but to get the hell away from you. And I feel like that's really messing with them. So all of them will try to come back because, in one way or another, they've been living off of your energy. I 
want to know more about these fake ass friends of yours. Holy Spirit. Yeah, the five of pentacles to the empress. One of your friends dealt with your person, I'm telling you. And it's like an ultimatum. So it's like if somebody gave somebody an ultimatum about you, that's what's going on here. So somebody, one of your fake ass friends, they want to come because somebody didn't leave you alone or won't leave you alone or something like that. Now your fake ass friend want to come in and tell you everything that done happened. Somebody is also trying to scare y'all, like give y'all nightmares or something like that. Yeah, somebody wants you to fear that something isn't going to go in your favor because, you know, your thoughts create your reality. So it's like somebody's really trying to play with your head to make you think that something isn't going to work out. And if somebody told y'all ain't nobody going to love you other than me or ain't nobody going to accept you that damn lie, they go that Knight of Pentacles again. Somebody is very, very smart. This masculine energy or whomever it is y'all dealing with, they're very, very smart. They know exactly what they doing. Even though they run around acting like a damn fool, this person right here, they're very intelligent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just said, you swear that I'll be lonely. Guess you don't know me. Exactly. This person is not the only person that's going to want to be with y'all. These friends are not the last friends that you ever going to make. These people are being moved away from you because they no longer resonate with you. Hell, I don't feel like they resonated with you in the first place. So that's why I can't figure out how the hell y'all even know each other. Because it's like you're on a way higher frequency than these people. They a low vibe as fuck. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, we get the three of swords in the reverse. Exactly. Release this person. Because you know what? You, nine of swords in the reverse. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, release them. Release all the pain, the uh, anxiety, the stress, everything. Yeah, the messenger right here. Even if you have to send this person one last message telling them what the hell it is they did to you, how they made you feel, and everything else, and then block them. Do that. Yeah, we got the five of swords. That's going to fuck their head up right there. Once you, you speak your piece and you block them, you don't got nothing else to say. That's going to fuck their head up. That's when they going to come to try to come to your door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the king of cups i'm telling y'all you got these fake ass friends out here bro they the mind games oh my goodness trying to pull on your heartstrings fuck with your head i just can't do this no more y'all like for real they need to be released And also, whatever this is, don't, don't let it close you off to love. Don't let it do that. Because if you do that, then these people, they win. They want you to be all alone, in isolation, things like that. Somebody don't want you to be happy. And I feel like, honestly, you're a very happy-go-lucky person. It's just too much. Somebody here could even be transgender. Yeah, heavy Pisces and Aquarius energy. Yeah, you're the Empress. These people could, could always take a page out of your book, but they're too busy envying you, trying to hurt you, trying to play on your top. Yeah. I don't give a damn about this friend. This friend is in the same karmic ass energy as they, they friend over here. Everybody that's around you, fam, they're in the same karmic ass energy. So let them all have each other and you move your happy ass right along. Because I really do feel like these people are just distractions. 
They're just like bumps on uh, uh, in the road along your path, your journey. Some of y'all, you were you were put in this place with these people so you can realize your self worth. Yeah, who you should be giving to and who you should be holding back from. It's a harsh lesson to learn, but spirit is like you have to learn this lesson so you won't repeat it in the future. Somebody going to start chasing you, fam. It's like they're going to become obsessed with you, like very obsessed. Also, again, because they're in their feelings and they're becoming obsessed with you, they're going to try to blame you for this as well. This person blames you for every fucking thing. Somebody could be finding out they're pregnant. Mm -hmm. That's also some, some this fake ass friend. I'm telling you, somebody going to try to come in and fuck with your head and say that they possibly pregnant by your person, possibly a baby by they, or your person or something like this, bruh. Oh, well, that's a them problem. You ain't got to take care of that child. Yeah, we get the five of cups right here. Somebody wants you to be sad and in regret and focusing on everything else except for your mission. This is so nuts. Yeah. Somebody don't want you to have love in your life, period. Also, y'all could be hearing like uh, certain songs. Like it's like somebody got a song on repeat or something. Or somebody's trying to uh, like telepathically communicate with you through song. I just really feel like somebody biting the hand and fucking feed them like real shit. It's some sneaky stuff going on here, y'all. I'm telling y'all what I know. Something here is going on between this person and... And one of your friends. And it's like a whole lot of people know about it. But they ain't going to come and tell you. Until it starts exactly. Till them towers start hitting. But this is what they wanted to cause in your life. This is why these people keep coming back around. And coming back around. Come around and leave. Come around and leave. To purposely cause towers in your life. This is weird because I ain't never seen so many people wanting y'all to be in y'all feelings and like, uh, woe is me and everything else. This is crazy. I don't understand why people would want somebody to be in that energy. Hell, I want everybody to smile. See? Feel like with them hoes, we ain't never making up. Exactly. Don't allow these people to come back into your energy. Like, for real. Because they're going to do the same thing again. Holy Spirit, one more card, please. Yeah, justice is here again. And that's the truth. Some of y'all are getting double for y'all trouble dealing with these people. You dealt with this crazy person over here and they fake-ass friends. You're getting justice for that. You dealt with a whole lot of fake-ass people that call themselves your friend. You're getting justice for that. And your justice is their karma. So that's that's what the fuck they get for coming for you. You don't have to just sit back and watch. Just, just hold your horses, fam. Because these towers finna start hitting these people left and fucking right. It ain't nothing that they gonna be able to do about it. Yeah, we get Libra and Gemini as soon as I cut the deck. Holy Spirit. What's the signs associated with this message? What's the signs associated with this message? Capricorn, Virgo. Holy Spirit. Leo. Holy Spirit. Sagittarius energy. Yo. Somebody out here shooting slugs and shit like that. These people scary as hell. They can talk behind your back, but they can't never come and say that bull crap to your face. Yeah, Sagittarius and the Earth sign. Virgo. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Pisces. Sun. Somebody can have like some really light colored eyes. Yeah, we get Aquarius. 
Two more, please. Holy Spirit. Gemini. Oh, thank you. And we get Moon. So something here is definitely about to be illuminated here. We get Sagittarius. We get our Earth sign. We do have Virgo. We got Taurus and Capricorn. Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun or Moon sign. Yeah, with Libra right here. Damn, and, and Aries. So yeah, fam, that's the message that I have for you. Hopefully it gave you some type of clarity. If it did, y'all, please hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, y'all. Personal readings are open. If you're interested, all of that information can, can and will be found in the description box of the channel. It's always my pleasure, of course, fam. I thank y'all so, so much for allowing me to read for y'all. I'm sending you guys loving, healing energy wherever you may be in this crazy-ass world, fam. And we'll most definitely get back up.